I'm not saying a word. I don't deserve to speak this week. You bring us in, Alex. I agree with that, by the way. Right you weren't even here, Jay. Wait so a minute. Stop wait taking a minute. shots. Sold the Cowboys. Not bash the Cowboy fans over here. The I'm not even Cowboy talking about that. I'm talking about I went 0 and 3. That's what I'm talking about. You weren't here, though, Jay. 0 and 3. You didn't pick all four games. Were you afraid of one? No. Uh, actually, well, I took the Patriots minus the points, but I, I took them for the wrong reasons. I thought it was going to be a low-scoring game. I don't want to talk about it, Alex. He's all, he's all spitzing and bother. All right, welcome to another episode of the D Gentleman Show. I'm Alex Monaco alongside Jay Root back in the seat, Lamar Mitchell, and of course, the star, Brett Ernst. Not feeling good. Look at the shoulders. Did you, say, did you right. say star because that's what's on the Cowboys helmet? Hey, I'm trying to build you up. Cowboys. <laughs> Enough Cowboy bashing. Move on. I, let's, I, I, I want to talk about the Cowboys for the first couple minutes of the show, quite frankly. Yeah, right. I mean, again, Jason should be Garrett thrilled. outcoached, outcoached, but more importantly, what do you think of da Dak Prescott thus far moving forward? All right, first, first of all, let's just get something straight. Our defense choked, okay? The, it was, I think we were number two, number one de run defense. You had two running backs rushing over 100 yards on our, on our defense. Colossal. C.J. Anderson. You know, what his, you know what his overall rating is in Madden? It's not even in 80. <laughs> oh, you find that funny? Failure. Is that hilarious? Yeah. 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 Now, the, the crazy part is, is that while the game was going, I'm like, oh, we had two red zone stances against arguably, you know, one of the best offenses in the NFL. And I'm like, okay, we're up 7-6. That score was way closer than the game actually was. And anybody who watched it will, will tell you that. It was, it was just – they punted once. Why do you think the defense didn't show up? Was that McVay's game plan? It just looked like the play action was working all day. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, C.J. Anderson, it, that had to be strategic. I mean, why would you put Gurley in for a couple of plays? Putting him in to soften up the boys' defense was, was brilliant. I mean, you guys just got McVay. C.J. Anderson period. for eight, C.J. Anderson for seven, C.J. Anderson for nine. It was ridiculous. Okay. It reminded me of Eric Dickerson running all of us over us in the eight. Eric, I think Eric, Eric Dickerson had after, all those after yards after combined. Buffet. Right, exactly. Remember that game Which, we lost 20-0 oh, or that something? That was horrible. It was terrible. Guess what streak continues? Dallas not winning a road divisional game since 92. Thank you. That what about the Chargers? Nothing. Wait, I want to – guys, we're all over the place here. Alex, you're going to have to either steer this ship. Okay. I'm still steering it towards the Cowboys. I want to hear from the Dyer. Steer away. Steer away. <laughs> no, listen. For real. Okay. Um, the other thing that people are forgetting uh, is the way McVay. Okay. Can we talk about this now? I want to talk about the end. Sure, go ahead. All right. M McVay is playing Madden with real people. <laughs> and, and, I, and I honestly believe that John Madden football, because now you're going to get a generation of coaches – that have been playing Madden since, you know, at least the past 20 years when they were 12. All they do. Yeah. And add in uh, that's it. Cliff that's Kingsbury it. now. Yeah. It's, it's. They run the same four plays. It, it was just, I don't know, man. So you don't like the offensive gun ho? They're nerds. Right. They're nerds. Gase is a nerd. Okay, I'm going to say it. Have you McVay's seen McVay's a nerd? Have you seen have his, his girlfriend? Has he, he got a gorgeous girlfriend? Has he even, nerd. did he even play football or no? Did Mc... I, I don't know if he did. Yeah. <laughs> Played on <laughs> did you, Like, even you bringing up, uh, uh, what's his name's Madden? Uh, I think he oh, yeah. It's I can't talk really right now. From coaching lineage. Yeah. I don't even want to talk Look, right you now. You know, the NFL uh, is pro points and pro celebration. They flipped it around. I think McVay putting up numbers on. How about being pro football? How about, How about defense? <laughs> How about somebody play some defense? You can't. You can't play defense. It's ridiculous. How, how can you play defense? Okay, guys, uh, you got to keep wow. a, a, it's like a restraining order around the quarterback, right? You're, you're not allowed within 500 feet. Oh, but you can defense if you can sack Dak with your own guy. Yeah, yeah, what was that oh, well, call? That on. was some bad call. You guys are playing Oakland yeah, A yeah, baseball yeah. in Dallas right now. <laughs> That's why you're not pro Madden. No, we, uh, we actually, we got outplayed. We got outplayed. <laughs> They they had their way the the Rams had their way with our defense. I mean seriously, we only punt. They only had one punt. Yeah, it was it was situation. It would, bad. And we got out coached, man. We really did. We got out coached. I, well, I, doesn't that happen on a normal basis? Thank hey you. hey hey hey. Excuse let's, me. Let's not bring up the ginger, please. Way to steer the ship the way I want to go. How many? No, yeah. Just please saying. talk about Jason. I mean, Garrett. I, th I think you guys did enough did to keep Jason Garrett. So yes. Well, see, here's my fear. Year. Here's my fear as a Cowboy fan, and, and and even with Dak, because we don't even know if the future's with Dak yet. The problem is, is we're in limbo. Like, if we were just like the Raiders or the Dolphins, where we're like, look, we got we to gotta knock the house down and just redecorate. We still have people that are 
you know, uh, in purgatory as far as are they good, are they not good? And, and I think we're going to waste some good years either stay. I, like, I don't even know if Dak's the answer. I'll tell you this. We can win with Dak, but we'll, we'll lose with Dak, but we may not be able to win without him. And that's where we're at right now. I don't know if he's really that, Why is that it type on of franchise Dak? quarterback. He's do- the guy won 13 primetime games. It's the most in his draft class since he was drafted. He's done a lot in that position with Alex, not a ton of offensive uh, weapons. Listen, my 12-year-old daughter no, he- doesn't like Dak. She says he can't throw the ball consistently. She's 12. She's How a girl. Many- How- is, is Jerry no. Jones just okay with having Jason? Jason Garrett is not a great leader of men. I'm sorry. Jerry Someone's got to say coaches. this. If Jason Garrett left the Cowboys right now, yeah. he would get five offers. Okay. So, what, what, what I'm saying no, is No, like, no, no, no. I totally disagree with that. Really? Once Jason Garrett is done with the Cowboys, he's done. I don't Thank see. you. The How is he done? Is How is Jared. he done? He can't get Jared, over the hump. He can't win the What's second the playoff uh, game. Chang Gailey, I think, still has a job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, is, how is Jason Garrett J- done? J- Jason Garrett will be a cowboy or will be a quarterback coach at some uh, West Texas or high school team. But it's well, not him. It's Lenahan. I mean, that's really who's calling the plays. Okay. Is Lenahan? Look at who won this weekend. Every coach who was a better coach in those four divisional games won. No, here's who won this weekend: the number one and number two offenses in the NFL. There was no upsets because people can't play defense. All right, you're not allowed to play defense. Right, you can't check. You can't hit a. It, it's just, it's not fair. They were that, all the top four scoring so, offenses in the NFL. That's what I'm right. saying. But the, top reason, four. the proof is in the pudding. Scoring average went from 42 and a half to 47 and a half this year. I mean, it, in the years past, scoring average wouldn't move up, but maybe by a point or two. It moved five whole points this year. I mean, that proves that the defensive. Uh, Players are at such a huge disadvantage. Of course they and are. It's not, it's and it's not going it's not, yeah, it's not to get any better. J- just to even getting back to Jason Garrett, too, like his situational coaching is awful. That's what his I'm His time saying. clock management, uh, uh, icing our own kicker. I mean, the guy just. No, I mean, you know what? Every NFL. Hunting on like third and a uh, fourth and one. Fourth on, and one running it up the gut. The Cowboys are the Lakers and the Yankees. They got to look good, and it's he looks like, good. It's not like the Cowboys are a good running back to do that with, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, let me ask you this question, because you're a fan. Why didn't, why didn't we onside kick it? You know what I mean? We just tried. We thought our defense, our defense wasn't able to stop the Rams offense the whole yeah. game, and we decided to play field position. And, and, oh, that's the other thing. It's fourth and seven, or what, a third and seven, and we let uh, – uh, Goff run for a first down? That was it. That was the game. That was the game. We had two timeouts. We had the two-minute warning. We could have easily have held them. And then we have to drive again. And let's get back to Dak. I, love, I, I like Dak, but for some reason, this guy can't hit an open receiver in the pocket. He'll drill the ball on the run. Absolutely. Right? If he's on the run, he'll hit you right there. It's just being it's in the pocket. This is why it's coaching, Brett. If they did more PA rollouts. Look, I played Madden. Bringing it back. P.A. rollouts. Run, run, win T.O.P. Don't turn the ball over. You're right. And play action. Do, play do play, do play action rollouts every play. Exactly. The defense won't pick but, up on But them. that's how they play Matt. What, what did they, they do two years ago? They the ran down your throat and you knew they were running. Can I be honest with you? That What, what, what happened two years Mad. ago is Dallas kept it simple. Okay? Yes. I think that, it, that through the years, and, and people really don't realize how smart Dak Prescott, Prescott is. I think I've said this on the show a thousand times. Like, he memorized the playbook in, like, a, a week. I think he's got a master's degree in psychology. The kid is overthinking everything. And when he was just able to play, like, because it was so basic that first year, that's why I think he had so much success. I think they're complicating yeah. everything. I don't think it's personnel, my friend. I think it's one very good head coaching hire away from them getting to the next level. It doesn't matter who they hire. It's, it's Jerry's team, so he's coaching. It does not matter. Yeah. I don't know, but, see, when I watched that – the 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 one on the on Amazon with the Cowboys. Right. I didn't realize. I didn't know uh, Garrett had that. Yeah, that one. I didn't know Garrett had that much um, fire in him. I didn't know he was like yeah. jumping down people's throats. Yeah. I thought he was just like some dopey guy. I mean, I knew he was smart because he went to like Princeton. Princeton or Harvard or something. Yeah. But he went to Princeton. Princeton, yeah, whatever. Is that where you went? Nah. Oh, I thought you were gonna do the uh, Ivy League thing. <laughs> 
hard. I wonder what the poor people are doing. What about the other three games this past weekend? Anybody? Yeah. Wow, who cares? <laughs> San Diego yeah. Chargers uh, choked I mean, uh, all of America. So, Jay, please, if you would. Uh, so, there was a particular game that was of a great uh, benefit to the race and sports book this weekend. Uh, yeah, I mean, Mahomes and his boys got the job done because uh, Andrew Luck apparently thought that everyone was going to catch the ball with their feet because uh, he kept throwing it in the dirt. But, yeah, the, one of the biggest uh, games that we won for the year was uh, the Kansas City Chiefs covering because the entire world was all over the Colts. And if I was making a bet, I would have been on the Colts as well. They looked to be the spot to play in that game. Everyone was like, they were the right side, but they didn't get you to the cashier window. Dude. I took the Cowboys in the money line. I took the Colts in the money line. What about the Chargers? Money huh? line? No, didn't, didn't take the Chargers in the money line. Was anybody surprised that the Patriots showed up in a big game? Absolutely not. Absolutely no. not. There's, How could you be? They're always there. Right. They're the same old Patriots. Just the same old thing. What, you want to get into that? Sure. Right now, let's, let's do, do it. it. Get into it. Who made the deal with the devil? That's what I want to know. I is it Kraft? Is it Brady? Or is it Belichick? Kraft. My bet's on Kraft. The entire AFC East, since he's owned this team, 44% winning percentage. 44%. They suck. Mm. Are they better because of Brady or are they better because of Belichick? 100% Belichick. I agree with you. It's Brady. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going Brady because I believe in the guy from a leadership. He's just... He's banging helmets with the O-linemen, raw on everybody, putting in the most time. Well, every uh, quarterback does that. No, we, they don't. I, 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 would, I, would, I would only change my vote because he's got uh, his wife as well. So, I mean, maybe he got a rider on, on, on the, I just, on the so deal with, with the devil as well. To nip this conversation in the bud, I wish Brady pulled a Montana, went to another AFC team, beat this half. Belichick Patriots team. Have you ever, seen, you ever seen Brady throw out of the pocket? It's not that great. It, yeah. Well, so that's why you got to credit Belichick because it's skin. Yeah, you, yeah, also you also got to remember Janine Garofalo threw. Uh, they were winning. <laughs> they went three and one without Brady. Matt Castle threw for four thousand. They went eleven and offense. five the year Brady missed that year. Eleven and five. Didn't win. I hate that argument. That's coming off arguably a top three offense of all time. But here's, here's, here's the thing. In ten years from now, how many of these Patriots that Belichick coached are going to be Hall of Famers? One or two, maybe. Dude, it's think gonna about be this. Brady. Coaching. Belichick but was he's like. He's taking average Joes absolutely. and made them Am Am Amendola. Yes. He, he was taking other people's garbage. Average Joes but, and made them and, better. But cut coaching. players, go and give them to me. I mean, as a Cowboy fan every year, I'm sorry, then go ahead. I, I know I'm going to rub you. Oh, no, go ahead. But I was going to say, as a Cowboy fan every year, we're always like, we need a pass rusher. We need a corner. We need this. Bra Belichick's just give me what you got, and I'm going to win with it. Speaking of free agency. Oh, you want to you get to that now? I want to talk about college free agency. Oh, yeah. The NCAA free agency. Well, yeah. Okay, January. I'll get into this. Another trend that we're seeing in football is in the NCAA, and apparently January is uh, the free agency. You got Jalen Hurts from Alabama going to Oklahoma. You got Tate Martell from Ohio went to the University of Miami, which I'm happy about, by the way. The Canes need a quarterback. Um, Local you, is kid. this a trend? Notre Dame quarterback went to UCF. Yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I have a really strong opinion about it. I don't know. Do you guys like it? I love it. I Come think, on, I'm a mad I, think, I, I, I love trades. I love franchise. See mode. what I mean? See what I mean? It's wow. the mentality. I, love I it. think as long as the players put in their time, they should be allowed to go where they can go. 100%. 100%. I mean, look, the I mean, coaches can go. Why can't the players we, we've go? We've talked about should the players be compensated, right? Some people say yes. Some people say no. You know, they're being compensated by having the opportunity to get an education. But everyone, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, this is horrible. They shouldn't be allowed to be able to dictate where they want to go. 100% they should. They've done what everyone has asked them to do. Got a degree, right? So now they are in control of their own destiny. They don't have to listen to the institution and tell them, do this, do that. It's like they, they earn the right to do it, and I, I think it's great. Also, what do we love as fans? And Storylines. But as a bookmaker, hold on, one more point. Please. As a bookmaker, you take a good quarterback and put him into a team that now can become competitive, it makes – a lot more, it makes the landscape more wide open. And from a bookmaking standpoint, that's huge because now you're talking about more parity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alabama beat Oklahoma in the final four. Now you're going to bring Hurts back. Let's say they dance again next year. Give me that storyline all day. By the way, Nick Saban, Belichick's coaching trait, correct? Failure in, failure in the NFL. <laughs> failure in the NFL. Um, I, you know what? I, I, I think this has happened in the past. I mean, 
take take our boy Troy Aikman was uh, you know yeah. people forget he ran the wishbone I think it was at Oklahoma, yeah, Oklahoma. transferred to UCLA because he wanted to pass more we've seen this before the only thing that I think that we got to be afraid of now or not afraid of that might affect is like you get a kid that was committed to Alabama say like a Jalen Hurts then you get another kid like a Tom Brady that went to Michigan and and he transfers in it the Sometimes the story can supersede the talent, if that makes sense. Well, that's, so that's the Tate Martell, uh, Justin Fields argument. I mean, Tate Martell, Gatorade Player of the Year, his senior year from Bishop Gorman, local kid. Mm -hmm. He transferred to high schools too, I believe. Yeah, transferred. This well, is like a trend with well, this. Well, uh, so so he transferred to high school because Gorman didn't allow him to graduate early, so he can enroll at Ohio State. Uh -huh. So he goes to Ohio State for fall or spring drills, does everything he's supposed to. Now Haskins is gone. It's his team. He's got the keys to the Cadillac to drive. Now Justin Fields, there's yep. some uh, things going on in Georgia that allow him to transfer and play right away. So now Martell's like, well, I put in my time, so what's going on? New coach moves down the line. Although I don't like the fact that he threw some intimidation tactics at him, said, hey, don't come here and miss. Right. And then he goes and leaves himself. I yeah. would have respected him a lot more if he would have stayed and fought for his spot I mean which he should have a leg up on being in the system for three years well th this is again this is a trend I mean what what does that say I mean am I going to come and fight like I, I respect Jalen Hurts for what he did uh this year just to, to take his time come in step up win the game you know and I, I actually I'm so glad you don't respect Telly Bryant is what you're saying I didn't say that I, I'm I would say this I respect I, I'm okay with Jalen leaving I think I think he he showed the, the program about? some loyalty Right, yep. and now he's like, you know what? Let me go make make my name, and let me go do if what I'm gonna do. This is a trend, Brett. How do you think this affects recruiting? Huh? How do you think this affects recruiting? I think it's gonna affect recruiting greatly. I mean, right? rule, yeah, yeah. the rule now is you only have to play four games, and you don't lose a year of eligibility. Right. So if you, as long as you don't play in those four games, uh -huh. you're still eligible. You're still eligible. Yeah, you don't lose that red shirt year. So don't well, play in the four. Well, games. let's just say that I, I'm a player, and I'm I'm at Clemson. Uh, or, or I'm getting recruited, and I'm like, you know what? I really want to be here, but I'm getting offered here, so I'll keep here in the back of my mind. And if this doesn't work, then I can eventually maybe transfer. And well, it's interesting. You know, I wonder, like, you got Saban, okay? He, he went out and he got Hurts, then he got Tua. Do these head coaches, you think, take on a second elite quarterback at that level? I Just absolutely think they do. They, so Tennessee yeah. doesn't take absolutely. them, or Florida doesn't? Absolutely. 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 And now these corporate, they, they sniff it out. Bad Bad they're, they're playing chess. Yeah, 100%. back in the old days, in the 70s, when Bama had 100 million scholarships, yeah. they took everybody, Oklahoma took everybody, just so these players would not get to other programs. And that's what they do today. Your quarterback, there's only one football. Your running back, you can get some reps in. Receiver, you can get some reps in. Quarterback's a different story. So you see all these five-star recruits going over to these teams where there's another five-star ahead of them. USC was notorious for this with Pete Carroll, mm. but they just keep getting these guys, keep yeah, stopping. Keep banking it. Keep exactly. Banking it. I have a question for the panel and for our producers. Can you name another Alabama quarterback other than Joe Namath that actually succeeded in the NFL? And oh, I thought you were going to say life. I was going to say A.J. McCarron. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Saylor? Kenny Saylor. Okay. Yeah. That's, Anybody else? That's about, yeah. The, I, 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 I got nothing. I hope so. I hope Tua will. Forrest Gump. But you, but you see this this factory of Alabama. He was actually a running back, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a running back for us, Scott. <laughs> that was the 50s, I think, or 60s. Yeah. Um, you see this football factory in Alabama, and again, it's 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 the example of a system, so to speak. Of course. Yeah. And you have these these quarterbacks that come in and just light it up in college, and you never really hear from them again. Florida State. That's what, why I love what I'm saying. But I mean, again, they're. The offensive line is outstanding, right? So that makes them look good. They don't have to do a lot. You can have a, a, a subpar quarterback, and still Alabama will excel because so much protection, and if you have a great running game, that opens that all up. I mean, it's it really is. I mean, they, they really probably could go look for a, a second-tiered quarterback and have no issues. What's interesting is the Bama system doesn't favor, to your point, the favor of the quarterback at all. You go to play for West Virginia, Will Greer, five wide, Texas Tech, five yeah. wide. Yeah, they open right. it up. And now right. that's what the NFL is trending towards, hiring right. the Queens, you know. Well, it was surprising when uh, the kid from uh, Alabama, uh, that plays for the Falcons, 
um, the receiver, what's his name? Julio. Ridley. Julio. Oh, Ridley. He was a five star. Yeah. Bama at that time, no receiving. Yeah. No, nothing. Right. Receiving. Bama puts Bama out some good receivers. Yeah, yeah, but he was the first one. Yeah. He was the first one under the Saban class to go to Bama. You're thinking, why is his five star receiver going to Bama when they don't pass the ball? But after Julio comes, now you get Ridley, you get these other guys, you get Cooper. So now it's a different story. Running back's a different story, too. I mean, how about the miss? With yeah, running back is absolutely different yeah. story. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and then we got the Clemson kids, that quarterback, which, by the way, can I use that as a segue to the uh, trending topic going on right now? Which one is that? Uh, the, the fast food buffet at the White House? Yes. By the way, our fast food, uh, our, our top five fast food restaurants today. Well, ooh, well I was going to do that a little. Topic. Uh, uh, well, yeah, go ahead. Is brought to us by like, Commissario Tequila. Okay, but I wanted to organically get into that, oh, but that's okay. fine. We can sure. do it gratuitously. That wasn't on the nose enough? Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Our top five. <laughs> Let me get to that. Let me get to that. So uh, I guess there's a lot of controversy because Donald Trump recently served Clemson a whole smorgasbord of uh, fast food. Thousand um, burgers they ate. Yeah, I guess uh, oh. I, I was I was researching this. Apparently, because of the government shutdown, yeah. there wasn't anybody in the kitchen. Right. Um, and then he was like, "Well, look, I'll pay out of my pocket. Let's get McDonald's and Domino's, which still is suspect. I mean, they could have flown in me or John's grandmother, and she would have cooked for the whole team in 20 minutes, <laughs> out, of, out of leftovers and crock pots and uh, Cool Whip." containers right <laughs> my grandmother would be like how many we got 400 just sit there don't worry i come out nice make I got everything you. I got you. um so i guess it's controversial again in our in our uh but we don't care about politics here what i want to know is what are your if you were doing a fast food smorgasbord or buffet right what would be the top five that you think were there first of all i'll st i'll kick it off by saying why wasn't there no Chick-fil-A Thank you. at the White House? I mean, that, that should have been number one, I think, as far as fast food goes. That honey barbecue sauce, forget about it. I like the <laughs> Polynesian myself, and the Chick-fil-A sauce itself is pretty strong. But what say you, gentlemen? I'm not a huge Chick-fil-A fan. Right, I yes, mean, it's, it's, it's a damn chicken sandwich, people. No, yes. it's not a chicken I mean, sandwich. come on. Do you know what? First of all, you need to research Chick-fil-A. You need to research how, how they get their chicken. Their chicken is... Yeah, they run out We're to the yard. We're not getting political, I thought. They grab them by the neck and they hatch it his head off. That's how it's they organic get their chicken. chicken. Organic chicken. Organic Who the hell doesn't eat Chick-fil-A? All right. How about, how about fat burger? Where's that rank? That's fat strong. Burger. I got a, uh, a no-brainer no for some of these. in and out strong. in and out in and out animal style on the table. You take a breakfast jack. You put a hash brown in it for everyone to enjoy. What? And you get a Wendy for You never had a breakfast jack with a hash brown? Why do people order chips with a sandwich for the crunch? Put the breakfast jack. What's the breakfast jack? From Jack in the Box. Oh, jack in the Box. So it's one of my picks. Mm. Jack Who eats Jack in the Box? Exactly. Three in the morning after some questionable decisions. Hey. The point is, that's one of mine. I'm going Wendy's for Frosties. I'm going animal uh, style. I like that. Chick-fil-A, of course, and probably McDonald's fries out of, you know, shouting out Big Daddy from back in the 90s. I got to say something. McDonald's fries somehow is on a decline to me. It doesn't taste as good as it used to. I don't know why. Um, Just getting older. I heard they put sugar in it, which was, I don't oh. know if that's true. Potato paste. Top five. Top five. Give me your top five, Jay. Top five. Uh, if I was organizing a smorgasbord, it would be in and out Taco Bell, probably, just because you want to keep them regular. Um, <laughs> probably, uh, you got to throw some pizza in there. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. I guess Pizza Hut would be uh, one, but I like local pizza better than any kind of chain pizza. Uh, I would go, uh, you got to throw some chicken in there. Probably like uh, El Pollo Loco, you know. Throw oh, how about Chick-fil-A? So I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe nah, that would be the chicken nah. that and then, America universally. Dude, and then the Chick last one is so throw. good that when gay people were protesting it, you would see gay people, they wouldn't even give up Chick-fil-A. <laughs> They're like, I'm not giving up so, Chick-fil-A. To each, to each his own. <laughs> to each his own. Raising cane. And then I would throw Carlitos burritos. I mean, uh, uh, Chipotle in there. Throw, get, throw him a big bomb burrito. You got to have one of those, too. Okay, That's Alex. a bomb right there. Alex, what's your top five? In and out, Chick-fil-A, Breakfast Jacks from Jack in the Box. This kid with Jack. Wendy's Frosties, McDonald's fries. Done. Been there. <laughs> Move on. Lamar? I got to go uh, Blaze Pizza. This is LeBron's pizza. Tell him about Blaze. Yeah, Blaze. It's, it's awesome. You just walk in, 
It's like order, Subway for pizza. Yeah, exactly. Order your pizza, they make it for you right there, boom, you're in and out. Terrific. Uh, Blaze Pizza, uh, no Taco Bell, uh, Del Taco, uh, Fat Burger. Uh, I would have to go with CJ's. Anybody know who CJ's is? Carl's Jr. Uh, Carl's oh, Jr. Look at this guy using you straight gotta, slang. You gotta make if it's not a, if it's not. Superstar's your face, pretty strong. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you, there's a chicken place here that is good. Big chicken. Wait, wait, yeah, it's called Chick Fil A. Wait, wait and right down the street. <laughs> Last one, Popeyes. Can't go wrong with Popeyes. All right, uh, Popeyes. Um, do you do the spicy? The absolutely spicy. The spicy one. Absolutely. Look at him. He's a. Come you take Popeyes over KFC? All day. Yeah, I do. Original? Except for my family. My family I'm likes sorry, Jay. I, I, didn't, I didn't know you're still here. I didn't yeah. know. I want to hear your top five, bro. No, no, no. Hey, hey, let's hear your top five. Major disrespect. Chick-fil-A, 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 Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Jay, let's go over under on two of them are Chick-fil-A. Yeah. <laughs> Make the odds. All right. No, uh, Chick-fil-A, obviously. Um, wait, wait, wait. But I got one. Wiener schnitzel. Oh, that's oh you're just an abomination. Oh, you're just eaters. You know what? Yes. You're my yes. boy. You're a Canes fan. You're a Cowboys fan. So I'm going to back you on that just because you're my boy. <laughs> but when we get behind closed doors, I'm gonna have to, we're going to have to talk. <laughs> Wiener schnitzel. Wiener schnitzel. Come on. Hebrew National. Ooh. I'm offended over here. Like, come on. It's like saying yeah, Skyline Chili. Okay, top five. Top five. Looks yeah. really good. I don't know how it huh? tastes. Chick, Chick-fil-A, number one. Um, in and outs a strong pick. If I got to pick one burger, though, just because li- being in the Midwest, oh, Swenson's burger is unbelievable. And if you're ever in Ohio, LeBron agrees with me, by the way, you got to get Swenson's. I- I'm going to go uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken Original. There you go. Right? Kentucky Fried Chicken Original. I mean, that skin was so good that South Park made an episode off of it. <laughs> um, this is where it gets a little gray area. Uh, I practice w- squad pick. Huh? This is your practice, this is my squad, practice pick. squad pick. <laughs> um, I, you gotta go, you gotta go Chipotle. I think, oh. as far as if, if I'm gonna hit the Mexican. Wow. I mean, I yeah. thought we weren't gonna have anything in common. No, we got yeah. the Chipotle in common. Okay. And can, I, can I give my all-time honorable mention? I know it's common. Fat Sal. Fat, uh, fat, fat Sal's. Sal's. It's it's now a chain. Yes, Fat Sal's is good. Give me the fact text. Throw White Castle. Oh, White Castle, uh, yeah, yeah. I was no gonna thanks. say, yeah. But here's the thing with White Castle. White Castle is not a, a, a place where, like, never at noon do you ever hear people go, "You guys want to go to White Castle?" It's never. that's like three in the morning, hammered, you know. Of course. A little Chick Fil A coming in the door right over there. Oh, made you look. <laughs> you know what? Can I just say something? The guy gets a new haircut, and now he's just he's he's. He's, he's just killing it. Our top five fast food restaurant chains, if we were to have a national championship, dinner buffet at the White House is brought to you by Commissario Tequila. Commissario Tequila, the tequila of the D Gentleman Shop. I also think it was funny that, um, that they had a fast food buffet considering that Lawrence looks like Spicoli. <laughs> should, should have had a pizza. What's up, Trump, Mr. Hand? Yeah, Trump, I figured my time is your time. <laughs> So, uh, oh, now we got Lamar here. We, we didn't do a Pete in the street with you last time, did we? No. Okay, well, we have this guy that has a lot of teeth and hair. There he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there's Pete on the street. So we play this game in studio. We play many games, but uh, this one is, uh, what is, where, is this where one we're, we're where doing you where you're from? Yeah. Okay, because there's a bunch uh, of them. So in this game, Pete goes around and just interviews people in Vegas, and we have to guess where they're from. Uh, by what, what, what they say, how they dress, how they talk. We have an example for you. Go ahead, uh, John, if you roll the example for us, please. So you're where you're, you're from, is it cold or warm? Thank you. Cold. Did you fly or drive to come to Las Vegas? If you, if you, if you came from your hometown, would you fly? Would you? Drive. You would drive, okay. Is there anything your town is known for, where you're originally from? Uh, Mormon. <laughs> known for Mormons? You drove here. Guys, I want you to guess where she's from. All right, well, right, now, you now you have to write your answer down. And you would write, we would write what? Salt Lake. <laughs> there you go. Okay, perfect. Well, no, I'll let's write down. our answers uh, down and see right. if we're right. Hold on. All right. We're all getting the state, but. Three, two, one, two. go. Park City, I like Park City. Yeah. Newark. Yeah, yeah. Newark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's roll, let's roll where she's from. Now I want you to tell me where you're from. Utah. Utah. Mormons, guys, of course. 
we make the rules up as you go along. We will guess. Uh, Brett's what won. are we competing for? Uh, push ups. Push ups. More tequila. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, good the call. Tequila, tequila shots. Tequila. Yeah. Commissario tequila. The, the loser has to do what? Uh, how many shots at Commissario? However many they lose. However many they lose by. I love it. First place to last place has to do that many shots they lose by to the first place. Okay, okay. So, so as many points as you lose by, it's as many shots as you have yeah. to do. So okay. Uh, Brett, Brett's won multiple times. I guess I'm driving you home. Drink responsibly. <laughs> Jay, you got, you got Brett at like minus, one, minus 175 or what? I don't know. I mean, what? I know how much you uh, enjoy the uh, spirits, so you might tank this. I might tank this. If I was a betting man, which I am, I'm going Brett minus 175 money line. Okay. Uh, it, straight up. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Next I'm ready. One, let's, let's roll. Let's roll our first one. Where you're from, is it uh, warm or cold right now? Pretty cold right now, yeah. Pretty cold right now, okay, okay. Uh, if you were to come to Vegas from your hometown, would you drive or fly? Definitely fly. You would definitely fly. Driving wouldn't be crazy or what? Insane. It would be an insane to drive. You would not want to drive to Vegas from where you're from, okay. Uh, it's cold out. Uh, what about, uh, what is your town known for? Are there any hints that you could give uh, these guys of where, what your town is known for? A big river near it. Big river near it. Okay, big river runs. Does a river run through it? <clears throat> runs alongside it. Okay, runs alongside of it. Okay. Uh, how about sports? Are there sports teams? Oh, there's a really famous team there. Really famous sports team there. Okay. There's. It's next to a river, uh, and it's cold out, and you would fly. You would fly there. Uh, is there anything that you can tell me more about uh, your town without giving it away before these guys guess where you're from? Um... It's got a giant silver thing that okay. it's famous for. All right, it's got a giant silver thing. It's cold. It's got a river next to it. You got to fly, not drive to Vegas. All right, guys, I think he gave you some great hints. I think I know what it is. Do you guys know where he's from? Well, we're Rookie over here. Right if we got it out there, that. Lamar. I changed my answer based giant off the last, the last Oh, response. my gosh. Giant this silver. is not called the, the I'm, dummy show. I'm handicapping <laughs> you on this. What? I'm handicapping you on this. My guess is coming off of your reaction. Wow. Okay. All, right. All right. All right. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. St. Louis, Philip Rivers. <laughs> he <Seattle>. said first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see where this gentleman is from. All right, Dominic, I got to know, where are you from, buddy? St. Louis. St. Louis, the big silver thing. That's the arch, you idiots. The Space Needle! That's All right, you don't have to bro. yell at our producer, Alex! <laughs> it's white! Because <laughs> I, I don't have rivers in Seattle. Just... I know right. it was a stretch. If it makes you feel better, which it won't, I was, I was going to say Grand Rapids. I don't know anything about St. Louis, and I was but I knew if you liked it and it had to be the arch, I was like, how many, how many, how many games have you been to there? At the Lou? Uh, one. No, he's a Cardinals fan. One. World he's, Series. He's the worst. Cardinals, Cowboys. Who's your hockey? I mean, uh, speaking oh, of Missouri, worst. I will be in Springfield, Missouri this weekend there you go. <laughs> at the Blue Room Comedy Club. Drinking tequila. This Friday and Saturday <laughs> with Phil River. Let's run our third one. Let's run I was going to say the the Superdome. Okay, here we the go. Silverdome. Where you're from? Uh, is it hot or cold right now there? It is cold. It's cold there. Okay. Uh, is your is your home uh, city or state known for anything in particular? I don't believe so. Okay, okay. Are there sports teams there? In the state there are, but not from where I'm from. Okay, okay. So is, are, you, are you from a place that is a known place or no? The state is known. I guarantee they don't All know right. where I'm from. So, so with Jason, we're just going to go with the state, okay? We're going to talk very general about the state, okay? <laughs> Baron, I'll be with you in a minute. Relax. Okay. All right. So, uh, so Jason, uh, is your state, uh, so they have sports teams there. Is there, a, is there a favorite sport of your state? Football. Football. So it's a big football state. Uh, is it known for anything else, agriculture, uh, business? Farming, uh, basketball too, but mostly farming. Okay, so a lot of farming and basketball, and uh, I think you kind of nailed it right there. So farming and basketball. Guys, where do you think Jason's from? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Farming. Two seconds. All right. City or just state? State. Can't you follow directions? This kid's a, what do you mean? He's he's stop he's yelling at our producers. Go ahead. Yelling Three, two, one. Indiana, Texas, Indiana, Kansas. 
Let's see if it's I Hoosiers it... or uh, Jayhawks. There we go. Or... All right, Jason, I want you to tell me, buddy, where are you from? Riley, Indiana. Indiana! I was thinking Iowa for some reason. Is Indiana known for anything else? Pretty much basketball and Hoosiers. Basketball, guys. Basketball. Basketball. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> I'm let's, throwing this let's one. roll our next one as Brett continues to uh, pimp uh, Cobra Kai there. <laughs> What happened to uh, Black Jack Mulligan? <laughs> the big show with security. hair. Oh, was that, that was his security? By the way, the belt buckle was kind of giving us yeah, away. a little bit. All right, go ahead. Look at this guy. So where you're from, is it hot or cold right now? Right now, it's kind of cold. Uh, it's about 50 degrees. OK, about 50 degrees. OK. Uh, if you were to come to Las Vegas from your town, would you fly or drive? Drive. You would drive, OK. Is your hometown known for anything in particular? Yeah, lots of farming. Lots of farming, OK. So it's going to be one of the farming states that we're talking about. Uh, uh, do they grow anything in particular in your town that, that they that might be known for or anything like that? Yeah, fruits, like grapes, raisins. Grapes, raisins in a farming town. Is the state that you're in, is it a big state or a small state? That's a pretty big state, one of the biggest. One of the biggest states, farming town, they grow fruits, raisins, does anything else happen in your town at all? Not in that town. Not in that fucking town. That's why, that's why it's in Las Vegas, guys. Yeah. All right, so uh, it's a farming town from a big state. I want you guys to guess. Lots of fruits, raisins. Where do you think he's from? I'm tanking so I can drink. I'm sorry. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to really, to make up for my Philip, Philip Rivers thing, I'm going to really go in depth on this one. Okay. And Ready? Oh, ah! Wait, 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 hang, hang on. I got nervous. Hang on. Uh, that's very specific. Yeah. Always. Oh, he's... Joke. Okay. 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 I'm going to make like we're coming back from this before okay. I stand, okay? Ready? Uh, we're back. That was tough. Okay. All right. All right, ready? Everybody got their answers? Here we go. Uh -huh. Three, two, one. Northern California, Northern California, Northern California, okay. San Jose, California. Okay, so right, really quick. I got Bakersfield. I got Fresno. You got Fresno, Napa Valley. He's got Sacramento. Well, and you got, got San, San Jose. Jose. So let's see who's. Okay. We'll do that. Let's see who's Here closer to that. Roll it. I want you to tell me where are you from? Fresno, California. Fresno, Fresno. If you guess Fresno, you guys are great. I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you did it. Drink up, boys. <laughs> Right, I can't wait. What are we at? Jay's at three. Lamar's at one. Brett's at one. I lost my eraser. Alex is literally Zippo. How, I got NorCal. You okay. didn't, no, 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 no. None not, of us got it. He, he got it. Fresno. Yeah, Fresno. Jay got it. By the way, by the way, special thanks to the folks at Stoney's uh, who, uh, who oh. let us go in there. Uh, that's why everybody's in cowboy gear. Stoney's, uh, big, great place for country music. Have a good time. All right, we'll do one more, just because... Uh, well, what's the score? Who's keeping score? Jay has three, uh, Brett has one, Lamar has one, and uh, Alex uh, is still can't tell the difference between the city and the city. Yeah, half a point. Okay, here we go. One, one more, one more. We'll do one more, because it affects uh, what we drink. Okay, ready? Roll it. All right, so, Bev, where you're from, uh, is it hot or cold? It's... Warmer than here, and we've had some really beautiful days, and nobody else has. Okay, so it's nice. Nice weather, nice weather. Nice weather year-round? Yes. Nice nice weather year-round. Would you dry or fly when you come to Las Vegas? You can do both. You can do both? Okay, all right. Uh, is there anything your town is known for? It's open space. It's a short distance to the beach, and you can also go uh, skiing, snowboarding, and, and all that. So from where you live, where you, live you can go to both directions. You can go to the beach or you can go skiing. Oh, very versatile. I kind of have an idea. I kind of have an idea. Uh, is there anything else that you can tell me about your hometown? Uh, is it near any big cities? It's surrounded by big cities, but we're a smaller city and we pride ourselves on slow growth. Slow growth, small city, surrounded by bigger cities. I like that. Okay, so you're like the little kid's city. 
We're an abbreviation that people don't understand. Okay, now Bev, is there any more clues you can tell me about the name of your town? Like, is there anything in the name that you can get that, that you can tell me? There's some trees. There's some trees in the name? In the name. Okay, so there's trees in the name. It's beautiful there. Uh, it's not far from uh, the, the water. It's not far from skiing. Uh, it's got it all in my book. It's got it all. all right, guys, I want you to think about it, what Bev just said. Where is Bev from? Okay. I got this. Uh, Everybody good? I used to live uh, there. Uh, all right. Uh, I don't know about that. I lost already. I already wrote it. Yeah, I wrote it before the last line. Okay, we good? Ah, Ready? Dude. Three. Two, one, we got San Bernardino, Thousand Oaks, California, Mammoth, and 4 and Palm Springs, yay. Let's roll and see where this lady is from. All right, Bev, these guys just made a guess. I think I have an idea, because there's you said there's trees in the name. Yes. Uh, where are you from? I am from Thousand Oaks, California. Thousand Oaks, guys, trees in the name. It's gorgeous there. By the way, California has it all. We can go skiing, we can go to the beach. We're better than everyone else. How is the acronym uh, confusing? T.O. Oh. Everybody calls it T.O. Okay, so after, uh, after, after four of them, we got Brad at two. Uh, Alex J Gusek. Jay at three, Point. Lamar at one, Alex at a big whopping zero. That Point means we're doing three zero. shots of commissary, okay? Back in college, baby. Let's go. Zero. Let's go, baby. Back in the frack house. You got this. Go. You got this, okay. Alex. Alex, you know what? I think this is three shots right here. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Anejo, by the way, which means aged one year. Anejo means aged one year. Yes. Here we go. Um, how do we do it? Can we he's, give him a he's cup? Do it no. Birthday shot. All right, swig take it like a swig. You better drink that, man. Swig hold on, like hold on. Give me this bottle long. again. We got to do this. Make sure this kid's actually drinking. Oh my gosh, uh, dude! It's a birthday Stop. shot. He was, oh he was, gosh. he was enjoying some of it before the show. So, I'm, I'm. Committed okay, to he has to go to at least here. I gotta, I gotta continue my nickname. Let's I need see. to make Come my on. picks. Let's go, money making, Alex. Right, ready, My God! The first one, ready? Three, two. The degenerates. One. Salute. Stop. One. Ooh, one, shot. one shot. I don't yeah. want to get the kids yeah. sick. Hold on. Take a break. Yeah. That was a big sip there, that kid. Was, oh. yeah, not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Stop. Stop. Uh, Is that smooth? Smooth. Delicious. There you go. All right. One All right. more. You got one more. If you don't make this line, I, don't worry. You mean hold your hand for the last sip. one here? You're all I'm right. Sip. I just should have paid attention in geography. You're That's crying right now. Sh you should know yeah. your trees. State. There's a difference between a it's state and a It's unbelievable. Yeah. I don't even need it on the rocks. I'm good with it neat, baby. <laughs> Third time's a charm. <laughs> Sorry for yelling at the producers. <laughs> Pretty good. Stop, 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 stop. You gotta give him, you gotta give him. It's like Pluto. Oh, Brad. Look at that Brad. Crap. I didn't want to look. I'm going silly on the table. Okay, Woo. so. Uh, okay, Alex, bring us into our picks. I want to hear you intro us in. Don't read, don't go totally off script. Go. All right. Coming off of the NFL divisional round, we're in championship weekend. Saints hosting the Rams. Pats on the road at Arrowhead. I'm going to kick it to the losing side of the <laughs> table first since Jay and I were on point. Yeah. Lamar. Please lead us off your thoughts on Championship Sunday. I can tell you this. Home teams in the conference championships are 10-0 and 0 in the last five years. 8-2 and 2 against the spread. So that will tell you where I'm going to go. Easy decision. Easy peasy, baby. So let's hear it. Two home teams. OK. So that we get it, that would we get be it for the sound Kansas bite City there, and New Orleans. Can we just get that for the second? You just say, I'll take the two home teams? And I like the Saints minus the points. Okay. And I like the Chiefs minus the points. There you go. There you go. Brett? I just, first of all, I want to say that is the best intro you've ever done. <laughs> and you, after three shots of commissario and you chased it with whiskey. Yeah. Um, I think, we've, I think we, we figured out uh, the formula, yeah, the yeah, formula. The formula right. for, for Alex's professionalism. We're going to need you to show up a half hour early every show. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> we'll get you primed. I, mean, I want to give you a nickname, Everyday Ernst. Get 
give us your two picks. I was about to, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, what Lamar said. I, I, I'm going with the two home teams. I'm going to take the Rams. I'm at the, the Saints minus the three. Actually, three and a half. Three and a half. And I'm going to take the Chiefs minus the three. And I would also, I don't know if I'm going to mess with the over and under because they're very close as well, right? It's uh, 56 and a half for, for the Rams and Saints. I would take the under on that game. I, I think that the defense, I think McVay's defense is, is going to play tough. I think both I, the defenses are going to I 100% top. agree with that. If, I, if you said you got to pick one game to be like your lock for the week, uh -huh. go under in the Saints game. I would say under the yeah. Saints. Yeah. And then I think the over and under for, for the Pats, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game between Mahomes and Brady. But what do I know? Because I was 0-3 last weekend. Even in Arctic temperatures? Huh? Even in Arctic temperatures? Yeah. Yeah, this number has dropped almost three points in the last four days because of the Arctic temperatures, which is kind of ridiculous. The wind's going to be about 10 miles an hour. That's the only thing that really, really. Well, you said hurt. wind. When you, when you were saying what, what really factors in to home, wind. is wind is everything, right. right? So the fact that this is dropping is, I think, a, a false move, you know, in the Kansas City game. So are Shall you I saying, pick? No, please, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Please, Segue yeah. in, but so you're saying don't touch the under or over on this? No, I, I would say I wouldn't let the cold influence whether you think it's going to go over. If you like the game over, like if it was 70 degrees, I, I would think you would still like it, right? Because the only thing that's really going to be difficult is is the wind, and the wind is not going to be much of a factor. Okay, so yeah, so then then it's safe to say. That is you say. well, either way. I don't have an opinion on that, uh -huh. but I, I would say I wouldn't let the cold you know, influence you into betting the under. I'm okay. fascinated at the over-under between the two games. One's in a one's in an Arctic, chilled environment. One's in a dome. They're one point difference. Well, I mean, uh, based off of what you saw of the Patriots last week, they, they put up 44 in basically the same conditions. Wow. So, Again, Jay, I, I'm, you... I'm going to go oppo of you guys. I'm going to actually take uh, both road teams. Wow. Um, and take the points here, and because I think all these teams are fairly close to each other, and when in doubt, take the points. Before the commissario really kicks in. <laughs> I'm going. Let's finish this I'm up. going with the Pats, with the points. I actually have them to win. I don't care that they're one and five in Arrowhead at all time. So I you're think taking the Pats in the money line. I'm taking or? the Pats in the money line. You know the Pats last won a playoff game on the road was 2004, championship game. That's because they're always at home. Exactly. But but has what have they that ever for? had bet against us T-shirts sold during that week, Lamar? They have not. I'm going with my Wait a minute. Drive. Wait a minute. Bet against us? Yeah. They've been favored in every game except for two games. And here they are, not favored. Bet against Brady. I and they lost the last time they were underdog on the road Anyways, in the playoffs. Look, the difference in age between Brady and Mahomes is the difference in age between Brett and I. I'm going with the veteran. Easy decision. And then I'm taking the Saints. Why? Because the Rams are 1-4 in, in these championship games in the last five. And Breeze and Peyton are six and zero, oh, and the Ram and the Saints have won seven straight so in the, the Super. The Dome. Rams are in one and four in what? In champion NFC Championship. And, and how games. far does that go back? <laughs> I don't care. Since Jay. nineteen, since Norm Van Brocklin. Right. Well, you heard last week he was what? talking about divisional record for the Cowboys on the Listen. road. But you just made a case for him, oh, lady. How did I make a case for him? Yeah. Well, you said I'm going with the veteran guy. Exactly. I think he's. I think he's drunk. I think it kicked yeah. in. Yeah, it Is anybody happen. else in the studio following this kid or no? no. Okay, I'm taking the Patriots. Okay. And the Saints. <laughs> oh, so you're taking the veteran. Oh, you're taking. He's taking. Old Brady's the veteran. I, yes. Over the young Mahomes. Here's the storyline. It's the OGs. <laughs> so the old school way of football. Mm -hmm. Versus the new school Madden. McVay versus Mahomes. And I'm not ready for that. Even though I'm a millennial, I want 41 year old versus 40 year old. I want that. I've been waiting for Brady Breeze. Or Brady Rogers since Nam. Since Nom. Vietnam? Nam. All right, Commissar was officially kicked in. All right. You've been tuning in Wait, for another on. episode. Hold on, wait, get back to your pick. Hey, Jay, Jay and Lamar, what happens? Uh, give me the scenarios for both games. Okay, so uh, Rams come out um, and they win against the Saints. I would say um, the Rams against uh, the Chiefs is going to be basically a pick em and total like 74 and a half. <laughs> that's, wow. that's just a wild guess off the top of my head. Uh, Rams against uh, the Patriots, I think this is going to be a, a controversial thinking, but I would make Patriots one and a half. I think a lot of people would make uh, the Rams uh, more of a pick em. I think if you're going to have Patriots in the game, they're going to get right. played. you gotta, you got you to gotta make a, a premium on the Patriots. Right. Uh, I agree if, there. It, if it comes Saints, Saints are going to be two, two and a half point favorite over either team. Patsies. Public team, so. Public team. If yeah. they get in there, they will draw the money. Right. 
The Pats will draw the money. The Pats will draw the money. Yeah. Public now, team, 100%. Now, when you say public team, that, that's saying that people that don't know football but know who the Patriots are yeah, will put exactly. money on it they, just to bet on absolutely. it. Absolutely. The casual gambler will pull back them. So right. the wise guy, though, what do you think the wise guy takes? Oh, I, I think if, if, if it comes Patriots, um, Saints, and I make Patriots uh, one and a half, which, you know, I, I say it sh you know, Saints should be one and a half, but I would make that Patriots one and a half. This game will come back down to pick. But I'm okay rooting for the Patriots. Well, before we wrap, Money Monaco, just for the record, I had a, I had a four-team spread parlay, a four-team money line parlay, and a four-team teaser for those of you at home. I bought points and hit all three of them. Why? Like, like, why, though? Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. Yeah. For those I, I, of you I, at home, Money Monaco's bragging. They messed up his bet at, at, at the window. He, he didn't even bet these. They're, they're, no, I bet two of the three. I accidentally <laughs> asked for the Chiefs and the Rams check money line. Check your tickets. Yeah. You got to check your tickets. Well, I just, for credibility, dgpicks.com. Roll with money. I'm no, don't roll with money because money tripped and fell into a, into a victory. Yes. I picked the T. All right, whatever. <laughs> Go to commercial. So, Alex, let me uh, So First rule of betting, check your tickets. So let's, we're, we're going to end the episode, but I want Alex to take us out. I know you're a little tipsy. Go ahead. Let's All see right. if you can do it. It's been another episode of the D Gentleman Show. I'm Alex <laughs> Monaco alongside Jay Rude, Brett Ernst, Lamar Mitchell. Remember, tease the game this weekend. Pray for a close one. And don't lay points on the road. Wait, wait, Please follow the DGShow.com. This kid is money drunk. Yeah. You're really, now, how about He's you? Forgot, you forgot to tell him our social media. Yes. At the D Gentleman Show on all socials. Please subscribe to us on our podcast. And again, follow the DGShow.com for all picks, bites, and insider information on how to gamble in sport. And, and remember our tag? Of course. Just because you're a degenerate doesn't mean you're not a gentleman. Don't forget to kiss your mothers. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Call your mothers. Yeah. Call your mothers. Call your moms. <laughs> God, the kid nailed it. Kiss your mother. We got we to gotta get him drunk every week. <laughs>